Hi, my name is Glenn. This is Karen, my wife, and this is our bus. Hello, everyone. So I'm working on my 2002 MCI uh, coach conversion to an RV. And uh, so one of the things that I'm doing today is I'm kind of experimenting around a little bit. I probably shouldn't say experimenting because I'm kind of committed to it now. So, uh, so I'm painting the windows and I'm not going to be using black, uh, such as this one. And this one I haven't quite finished yet. I ran out of paint, but, um, so I'm going to paint probably this window here, black, this window, uh, actually this window here, what I'm going to do here, this is about in the middle of the bathroom. I'm going to leave a, about a two foot square, uh, unpainted, and then I'm going to, uh, build a wall around the window and leave just the square for light. It won't provide, obviously, I won't be able to open the window or anything like that, but I'll be able to have a window in the bathroom with a curtain and I'll gasket the, the wall uh, trim and everything to the glass. And then that'll be clear there. They're already uh, tinted on the outside. Matter of fact, from the outside of the bus where I painted these windows, you can't even hardly tell because they're already tinted pretty dark anyway. So, so that is uh, pretty much in lieu of removing all the windows and skinning the bus and putting in new windows and all that, which would set me back probably about two years. I'm uh, 59 years old and, and I don't want to be working on this until I'm 75. So I'm hoping to actually be able to take this thing onto a trip to Colorado next August. That's kind of a goal. It's a pretty lofty goal, um, especially being the limited time that I have to work on it. But even, even if, if I can do that trip, it'd be great. I wouldn't care if it was completely finished as long as it was functional. I want to get the bus at least so I can use it somewhat. So I think that'll get me there a lot quicker. So, so I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to paint these windows. I'll leave those two in the back. Um, paint this, paint this, except for the square. This one will be completely painted because it'll be behind a closet and it'll be behind the shower. And this one will be completely painted. It'll be behind the washer and dryer. And this one here, I will paint uh, again, like the, like the window in the bathroom. I'll leave a, a long swath down through here open, uh, right in the middle of my dining room table. So I'll have a window at the dining room table but then I'll wall off up to about here, something like that. And, uh, and so this window here, I really haven't quite decided. I'll probably just leave it uh, without uh, painting it or covering it up. <clears throat> and obviously I'll leave the rest of the windows up here. And uh, so these three will stay, these three will stay. This one will be partly covered. And then at the kitchen here, uh, because of the location of the sink being kind of in the middle of this framework, I'm not going to have a window right at the sink, but I'll go ahead and just come over here and I'll just put a window right here, about two foot square again, and paint the rest of the glass, frame it all in. And, uh, anyway, it's kind of a novel approach. I hope it works out and I'm going to go ahead and just try it. So that's what I'm working on today. And I probably won't do a whole lot of videos on that while I'm actually doing it. I'll probably just uh, put together a video of when I get to a certain point. Uh, although I do have some of this foam uh, here cut uh, that'll go in the windows. So I've got it beveled and rounded here. This fits in there up to that point there. Um, then I've got a piece that'll go in there uh, sitting here. And so that's kind of ready. Uh, I, I probably though need to make sure that I have full contact with the insulation to the glass. So that part I haven't quite figured out yet. Um, I may put some fiberglass in between the foam and the window just so that it has uh, full contact there. And uh, it might help prevent any condensation from taking place inside the cavity. As long as the heat from the bus doesn't get to the window, it should be fine anyway. But uh, that's usually a, the best way to do it is to have the insulation in full contact with the surface. So I'm going to be working on that and we'll see how that goes. So I'll share some more video 
uh, when I get uh, to a certain point. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm at that point. I thought I'd go ahead and do a little follow-up here on my interior work. So what I've gotten done here is I've painted half, about half of the uh, back bedroom window on each side because I'm going to have a closet that's going to come down and go to the wall uh, on each side of the bed. So, so that way the window's painted black. The You won't be able to see the side of the closet from outside. You probably couldn't anyway because of the uh, tinting of the windows. But anyway, that's pretty much what I decided to do here. So I've spray foamed some of these cavities in the wall. Um, uh, places like, you know, these hollow spots in between where the foam is uh, grooved out and stuff. Anyway, so I've got that and I'm putting this half inch foam uh, up here over the steel. And then I've got a piece of half inch foam here. Also, that'll go over the whole thing. And, and then this piece here will actually go over that. So basically, the way this will look, of course that foam will go there. That way that, that half inch foam will cover, will cover all of the framework So that way the framework won't condensate on me. So this is, I admit, this is getting just a little bit weird, uh, but it's the method I chose uh, because I'm keeping these windows, because I'm keeping these windows and not removing them like some bus converters, I'm trying to work with them but I also don't want to just have windows completely open all the way down the whole bus. So, so basically what I'll end up doing here is I'll have an extension of this uh, latch come through so that I can pull the window shut and fold the extension down up against the wall. That'll be under the closet because the closet will come right down just above that. And that'll come out to here and then up and it'll cover this whole about 24 inch deep space. So then once this is all mounted, then I'll trim between the uh, OSB and the glass. I'll basically just build a frame, what will be a three-sided frame here, and it'll go up against the glass and then it'll trim out the OSB and whatever other kind of finished material I have here. and. Um, uh, so basically, um, I'll have about a two foot wide window that's about 30 inches tall. So, which is actually about the size uh, of a required uh, egress window in a house, which is five square feet. So, so basically, um, I'm doing that on both sides. So what I've got done with the rest of the windows, the windows that are stationary, I went ahead and removed the bars uh, that were there you can see so the latch is still here and i've adjusted these latches so that the windows tight and shut and uh and those will stay locked all the time unlike these windows up here anyway these windows up here that'll stay openable those will have that bar so basically i removed all the bars um, and then of course with the back window here because i didn't want to have a bar going all the way across uh, just because of the nature of how this is going to be um, i went ahead and just cut the bar off and i've got just two handles instead of one so um, anyway it just provided more strength for for this osb coming down being continuous through otherwise i would have to cut the whole thing all the way across and it just wouldn't work very well so anyway so that's the method I've chose here and, and uh, I put some spray foam in the in the steel. I really don't know how effective that is. Uh, actually, I probably won't do any more on the walls because I found that after I spray foam these and the foam was all oozing out of the holes, and then I came back later and drilled holes in between 
and there's zero foam in there so i don't know what's happening inside the framework but it obviously isn't just filling up with foam so i'm just going to bag that whole idea so at least i've done the ceiling i've done the framework on the whole lid um, the walls will have the half inch foam here uh, this half inch foam board here which is r5 uh, this will be over the top of everything and then the osb over that so i haven't decided on a finished material yet what kind of wood i'm going to use inside um, things like that so this is a little bit rough i can always take my oscillating tool and if i have to trim this down a little bit so that i can put in a windowsill and the way you know this side you know all this can change still uh, even uh, with it installed so it's still a little bit experimental but i i think it's going to work out so anyway and then the the bathroom window here i blanked it out just like i said earlier i went ahead and blanked it out and kept it open so this will have a, a window box with a little shade or a curtain or whatever but it won't it'll just be stationary so uh and then this window here the reason i didn't finish this painting this window is because i realized that this uh, window here that i blanked out may not be in that exact location i may have to move it a little bit so i'll just have to razor blade some of the paint off or whatever if i do but that's not a big deal so i may even actually end up covering this complete window here because my kitchen countertop will be about this high coming along and then it'll stop about here so i'll probably just blank the whole thing off bring the wall all the way down to here that way i'll have these two big windows up front and i'll have at least these two up front and i'll probably blank off the window on the door because the door is only going to be used uh, for if i need to bring some kind of a large piece of furniture inside so and then this window here i haven't quite decided exactly where my dining room table is going to be it'll be somewhere right around in here so i'll probably just blank off a couple feet here uh full height though because i want plenty of window and then i'll paint the rest of it like i did in the bedroom so then i'll just trim up to the glass uh here so anyway so that's the progress of where i'm at right now and i'll uh make another video here and show some further progress as it happens thanks for watching so i've made a little bit of progress on this so basically this panel right here uh, which is of course upside down this is going to go uh, at the window on the passenger side of the bus and so the the part with the uh, foil bubble wrap stuff that's going to press up against the window when the window's pulled shut so as the window's pulled shut it'll make contact with the uh, insulation uh, minimizing any condensation then it's full of fiberglass so it's fluffy it should be i'm hoping it's fluffy enough for the window to pull up against it without having to pull too hard so that way if we do have the window open then we can uh you know the the fiberglass won't be exposed to the wind or whatever and so hopefully this will work it's a little very very unorthodox uh definitely thinking outside the box so hopefully uh hopefully this is going to work so i'll put it together and and uh, see how it comes out so finally here late in the day i've got my two side pieces up uh, they look pretty good in my opinion and so that's of course it's not the complete window yet but that'll be coming and there's this side so i've got it all insulated behind this panel so that the glass makes contact with it when i shut it it's a little bit tight yet uh, so i'm hoping it'll kind of conform to the shape but it's all insulated behind here so tomorrow I'll continue from here over and uh, hopefully I'll get, I want to get, try to tomorrow to get past the bathroom or into the bathroom, maybe even past it and we'll see how that goes. So, so that's my progress for today.
I'm quite pleased with it. Actually, these uh, I bought these screws at uh, let's see, this light here. I got these on Amazon. They're about two and a half inches long total, or maybe two inches. Uh, they lose a lot of grip range here with the bit tip and with these little barbs that are called wings that take out the wood as they go, which is good. And then it has this little cut edge here that kind of threads the hole. And uh, they're pretty nice screw. They're working out pretty good. This side here, I've got these. I've got this all screwed down except for this part here. Uh, but this is all screwed down really good all the way around, all the way around the window, uh, along the bottom. Same thing over here. This side here, I had a lot of trouble uh, getting the screws to, to work. Uh, especially along here they just kept stripping out so I ended up pre-drilling all the holes um, anyway so now it's fastened up really good and <clears throat> it's ready to go and these are a pretty good screw uh, they're working out pretty good I can also use these on the ceiling although they're a little bit long for that but it really doesn't matter I suppose so that's my progress for today and uh, Tomorrow I'll be working on it some more and hopefully I'll have some more done. Okay, so just to sh show some more progress here, I took a couple days off work. Uh, beautiful weather outside, uh, nice and sunny. Uh, just a beautiful day. Got up to, I think about 68 today. Same as yesterday, I spent two days on this here. I took a couple days off work. Anyway, so, I thought I'd show just a few details of what I'm doing here. Uh, some of the details are probably unnecessary, but either way. So this here is the panel that's gonna go up against the uh, uh, windows, or this one will go on the, uh, on the passenger side. That one over there will go on the um, driver's side. So, so what I did here was I, I took some of this uh, bubble wrap stuff and I, I shaped this, this uh, bubble wrap with fiberglass behind it to fit into what's remaining of this window. So basically the window, I painted black on this side as well, like the other side. And because the window is going to come to here, the square part, and so that bubble wrap and fiberglass will fill this cavity in here hopefully and uh and then while i was doing that i decided to go ahead and take some foam in a can and, and just go ahead and foam in between these gaps in the windows uh, the gaps are are kind of uh there's really no real effective way of insulating them they're kind of deep about three eighths of an inch deep then they've got holes and stuff and and then, and then I've also noticed too that you can sometimes some of these windows you can see right down in where it's hollow and behind here. So, so I thought if I just fill that in flat, and then put my of course my half inch foam from here up, then uh, that would just just kind of help maybe keep things from condensating. So, so on this this uh, foam back here. So basically what I'm going to do here, I've just got this kind of propped up here just for somewhere for the foam to stop. So it's kind of wet right now. Once it dries, I'll pull this back out, you know, cut it off so it's not connected to it. Then I'll go ahead and shave this off. And, um, uh, and then uh, the, way I'm, <clears throat> the, way, the way I'm doing this uh, half inch foam is I've got the seams so they're not lined up with the, with the OSB. Uh, just so I don't have a, uh, you know, so I have a smoother transition there. Same thing at the top. These pieces at the top, what I did is here, I just took a couple finish nails and just fastened the finish nails to the foam behind at an angle just to hold these up long enough just to get the panels up. So what I did here was I took my, uh, my uh, oscillating tool, which I'm practically walking on and what I did is I took the oscillating tool and first I took because it's got this flat profile I was able to just shave straight up like this all the way down oops like this 
I was able to shave straight up like this all the way down. And then that's for this foam. And then once I put this foam on, and then I shaved it straight up, not here so much because it's because it's hollow, but down here where it was full, I went ahead and shaved up here, level with this foam, so that my OSB would go up a little bit higher up to here. So, uh, so basically, that just kind of shapes it right in. So these places here where it's hollow here, I'll I'll probably fill this with some foam before I put the OSB up, just so that it's also uh, just full as much as possible. And then this whole thing all the way down here is going to be uh, a, basically a channel way for wires and stuff. So behind the cabinets or behind the trim. So. Uh, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm waiting for that foam to dry so I can shave it off. And uh, it's working out pretty good. I really enjoy what's happening here. So getting a lot of stuff done today. Once I, I spent a lot of time on these openable windows in the back, these stationary ones will be a little quicker. Uh, so hopefully that'll work out. Uh, got a little bit done here. I'll tell you one thing right now that converting a bus is not for the faint of heart. So, so I've got my windows framed in, which they still need to be uh, trimmed. Of course, I'm not going to do that until I get into the finish work, but at least I have the window on each side. I've, uh, got a hole drilled, um, at these, uh, locations where the, where the, uh, the latches are for the windows in case I need to open them. I can open them by taking a screwdriver and I can put the screwdriver through the hole, through the hole basically, and I'll be able to just put it in there and pop that upwards so that the window can be opened in case it ever breaks or needs to be replaced. And then it's just a matter of somebody pushing shut from the outside and then I can reach in with the hole the hole and uh, and snap that shut again that'll be behind the cabinets or wherever but either way I'll be able to access the latches to these, to these windows which would be a very important thing so basically uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to go ahead and these pieces here are ready to be fastened to the wall uh, I'll go ahead and fasten those up and work my way this way. This is a bathroom window here. I'll finish insulating around it. I've got the one inch foam here um, over the glass. And then I've got the fiberglass here that I'm just putting in as just sort of a, a sponge uh, to keep the pressure up against the, the insulation here up against the glass. And it'll have some insulation value even though it's compressed. I uh, won't have as much as obviously if it wasn't compressed, but but I think that'll work well. And um, uh, so these windows would be pretty well insulated. So this window here, I've got this foam here ready to go in. These pieces here, and uh, I still need to prepare uh, this one, and obviously uh, this one here. And this one I may end up not even uh, covering at all. So. That'll be where the dining room is, because I've decided against putting the uh, putting a washer and dryer in here. I'm just going to forget the washer and dryer. It's a lot of money to spend on something like that. When I say washer and dryer, I was going to put in a combination unit, and they're they're about eighteen hundred bucks for a good one, and it just doesn't pencil out really for how much we're going to use this thing, and and uh, it might be a convenience, but. We can always just go to a laundromat if we have to. So, so I'll probably leave this window open since I'm not putting in a washer and dryer here. Instead, I'm going to put in about an 18-inch wide pantry. That'll move my dining room table down this way more. So it'll be closer to almost being in the center of this window. Then this window here, I'll completely block off uh, similar to the other windows and I'll put something around this to where I can take it off. And uh, if I ever have to get furniture in here or whatever, um, this obviously, you know, there's a lot of leaks and stuff. If 
you can see the daylight through um, this needs some new gaskets and stuff so I'll, I'll do all that uh, later on as I work my way to the front but in the meantime I'm hoping to get the the bedroom pretty much finished out and the bathroom finished out and I'll probably leave the rest of it for a little bit this will be some nice progress that that uh, of course my wife will be able to appreciate and um, anyway and so that'll uh, so that's pretty much my progress for now so I'm gonna go ahead and fasten these panels in and I probably won't do another video until I start uh, getting into more of the finished process so my shower should be in soon my shower base um, things like that and then I'll start con concentrating on putting my holding tanks in and my water tank and things like that and uh, so we'll see how that goes screws in can be either very satisfying or very frustrating so they're pretty nice when they go in right A pretty pretty decent screw if you spin them out then you gotta of course drill a new hole so so it's pretty pretty nice these screws were about $45 for I don't know I think around maybe 200 of them or so and uh they're a pretty good deal so i had to counter countersink each hole 
little bit just with a bigger drill bit just so I could do that and uh, that way they're not all sticking out it's not going to matter when I get behind the closets and stuff but other than that it's uh, they're pretty pretty flat for the most part so that'll accommodate my finished materials so. step back here in this part uh, where I have the walls up will be uh, figuring out the ceiling so I've got a pretty good idea on that I think and obviously the ceiling will have to go up uh, before I get too much further okay so just to finish up this video on my I'm putting the siding on the or the wall coverings on um, this is basically it this is, uh, I'll give you a shot from the end here. I'm not finished yet, but I'm, I'm up to a point to where I'm into the kitchen by about four feet. So, so what this will enable me to do, it will enable me to uh, get the bathroom situated, figure out exactly where these walls are gonna go, uh, get the bedroom situated, so, these windows came out spectacular. Man, let me tell you, that was a lot of work. Each sheet of OSB probably averages about three hours uh, with the insulation and the having to just do all kinds of little little things. Like for instance, the um, you know you you put one up like when I put this first one up back here in the corner, I put this up, and when I went to put the next one on. It didn't quite line up vertically. So I thought, well, instead of having every one of them be off, I'll make the correction on this one. That way it's square with the floor and that kind of thing. And that didn't work out too well. I think it got me down to one more. Then I had to make another correction. And anyway, there's nothing square anywhere on the bus, nor I guess maybe the floor isn't level. I don't know. But either way, every sheet required a lot of detail. Now I'm actually out of screws, so I put in 250 screws uh, in all of this. So I still have yet to finish screwing this stuff down here, and, but I, I've had enough to at least get these last two pieces up here uh, at this point. So right now, I'm not gonna go any further than this until I get some things established. So I've got my shower base coming. Once I get that, I'll figure out the plumbing for that. And then that'll kind of correlate with the plumbing for the toilet. And that's gonna kind of set this wall. Maybe I've already said that in a previous part of the video, but either way. Um, so that way, that's gonna then dictate kind of where the kitchen starts. And I've decided here, this is the foam that goes in the window. This will actually go back in there uh, eventually, but but I'm going to have another window here. This will be at near the sink. It won't be centered on the sink, but it'll be near the sink. And I'm thinking about making it just a little bit wider 
and then I want to actually uh, cut the paint off all the way down until I get to 36 inches high so that way my countertop will go all the way up to the glass so so the window itself uh, it'll be sort of like, like a uh, infinity edge kind of a thing but anyway so the countertop will go all the way to the glass and then the window will go up of course over here from here that way it'll have backsplash and wall and everything and same thing here so I went ahead and painted this window here because my countertop is going to continue uh, to here this will be about the edge of the sink and then I'm going to have a uh, kind of a peninsula come out here a little bit and uh, anyway so I've got this kind of laid out on the floor um, anyway but that's the progress so basically just to sum this up uh, this window here is stationary and it's uh, tight to the the woods tight to it when I go to finish these windows out I'll create a like a window box and it'll fit up inside so it trims out the edges and everything and uh, then that'll also enable me to have some blinds to go up and down so they're not swing swinging around in the air same thing back here I got to figure out these window sills that's gonna be a, another big task but uh, anyway but it's come out pretty good um, I'm really pleased with it so I, I kind of like the idea of doing parts and then coming back in other words like I've got this kind of vanilla shelled up to this point that'll enable me to kind of break away from the, the monotony of doing this wood and kind of break into doing some different things here uh, and then once I get that kind of established how that's going to go then I'll go ahead and continue on down um, anyway so it just kind of breaks up the job a little bit so you're not just doing the same thing all day long actually just this this osb that you see here i've got about probably six full days into this i took some time off work and uh this has been a few weeks in the making a few days here and there uh actually but uh but yeah probably a good five or six days just into putting these materials on here so i'm very happy with it uh we'll see how that goes and that'll conclude this video so i appreciate everybody watching and take care